When I was a kid, one of the things I used to love doing was creating codes that only my friends and I knew so that we could send secret messages to each other. And we would send all different kinds of messages with all different kinds of codes and our parents couldn't read the messages, which I always thought was really cool. Well, it turns out that if you can create a simple series circuit, you can set yourself up with a little machine, basically, so that you can send messages encoded in Morse code. Morse code has been around for a really long time. Since 1906, people have been using it to send SOS messages. You know, if you've watched a movie, you may have heard, um, you may have heard a ship going beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, 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 boop, 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 beep, 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 that kind of thing. That is an SOS signal in Morse code. So even though it's been around for a lot, even though it's been around for a long time, um, not many people know how to interpret it. So that might be a really fun thing for you to do with your new circuit. Find a friend and you can both learn how to use Morse code to communicate with each other. So let's try out some international Morse code. What you're going to need to do is set up your simple circuit, your series circuit with just one bulb, okay? And we only need to attach one side to the bulb. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap the other side of the bulb, the metal screw on the other side. We're just going to tap it. So the dots that you see are one beat. And those dashes, they're supposed to last three beats. One, two, three. So now let's see if you can figure out how to send an SOS message using your circuit. You can pause the video here and I'll show you right afterwards so that you can check yourself. An S is three dots. An O is three dashes. And another S is three more dots. So that's it for today. I hope you've had a blast setting up your series and parallel circuits that you understand now how chemical energy in a battery is converted into electrical and light and thermal energy, that you know the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit, that you know the difference between conductors and insulators and that you can send secret messages using your new Siri circuit and Morse code to a very good trusted friend of yours. There is a forum on the website. If you will join our community online, register, you'll be able to access those forums. And of course, you know any way that's convenient for you to reach out to us, please do, because I sure do enjoy getting to spend time with you. Thanks. Have a great day.